Hello everyone and welcome to this video on a new add-on available now on the Blender market called Fade. This is a collaboration between myself and Blender artist Tim Krellen, better known as the Timster, and is designed to bring some NPR functionality into Blender. Now, Fade comes with a lot of assets that can be quickly and easily added to your scene, but also some material nodes such as this Tune Shader. Here you can easily change the color of your model. You can add some noise between the darker and lighter contrasts of the tune shader. You can add a freestyle like border to your model and even adjust the border thickness. Next there are some shadow options. This lets us adjust the shadow blend and the shadow color. We can also add some glossiness and then change the specular roughness and the specular color. And finally there is contour shading which helps to detail the curvature of the model. Now, the overall appearance of the tune shader is highly dependent upon the lighting in your scene. So, here if we select the sun lamp and rotate it around, you can see the effect that it's having on all of the models. Notice the translucent-like effects added to the leaves. That's due to a custom shader added to them. After installing the add-on, you'll find the options here in the sidebar of the 3D viewport. Here we can add things like world materials. And under the models category, we have these drop down menus that have all of these 3D assets very well organized. So let's add some of these assets to our scene. We'll add these maple trees. And I'm going to change the point lamp to a sun lamp. And by default, the strength is way too high. So I'll set it down to a value of three. I find a value between three and six works very well. Having all of these highly customizable assets makes building environments and creating scenes very quick and easy. Other assets such as the various grass types have a procedural wind effect that can be used in animations. And these palm trees use empty objects to control their shape. And we're looking into adding more of this functionality to other assets in future updates. And while this video is more or less an overview of the add-on, I will be doing a full tutorial in the near future. For now, I'll leave a link in the description to the page where you can purchase the add-on and find more information about it. I know that the world is a little crazy right now, but I hope that all of you are well and staying safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.